What's up guys? Grim here. I have been getting tons of questions asking where I've been and I apologize for not explaining this a little bit sooner and kind of letting you guys know not to expect too many videos just recently. And uh, But basically what it was is that um, for years now I have been doing YouTube and have been playing Rift as my primary game. Um, now, I've been doing that with the idea that uh, it is kind of a sacrifice to play a game that is not like the top two or something like that. Um, take for instance, you get people that get real huge on World of Warcraft. You get people that get real huge on Minecraft or League of Legends or stuff like that. And I chose to do Rift because I love the games that aren't uh, like on the massive scale, I think there's a lot of enjoyment and a lot of art that goes into uh, games that are not at the top, but are have a lot of work put into them. And I was big on that whenever I played Ultima Online, whenever I played Dark Age Camelot, whenever I was big in the Dark Age Camelot, uh, World of Warcraft that came out shortly after and uh, I was staying in Dark Age Camelot. I wasn't going to the juggernaut game that was out. And that was my appeal. I love these type of games. I love finding a smaller game. Uh, Rift isn't real small, but I like finding smaller games to uh, go in and really enjoy the unique aspects of a whole different aspect. Uh, well, finding a whole different aspect to gaming development. Um, and I, I did that with other games too. Like there's a game called Ashen Empires that I played for a bit. Uh, there's just lots of different games that there are unique things to them that make them fun to me. And uh, well, I did that with Rift. And whenever I started doing YouTube videos, I wanted to stay with Rift and I stuck with it all this time. Um, so naturally whenever I make that choice either you get a core viewer base that are going to support you big time or you get uh, kind of drowned out in the scale of the game uh, and a lot of big youtubers and stuff will tell you that if you're going to play a game pick one of the big ones because you'll be wasting your time on the smaller ones unless you just get a, a fanatic fan base and i was lucky enough to get a very dedicated fan base with uh rift which was awesome you guys have been so supportive uh of me over the years and all that kind of stuff that it was even more important for me to stay with rift and keep making videos about it uh, the fact that later on uh, Tryon started supporting me, and this was after about two years of making Rift videos with them like focusing just on Seton and uh, everybody else was kind of getting a little bit of the, the back end. Uh, we would get like something every once in a while as in here we're coming out with, you know, Nightmare Tide. Here's a copy to give away to your viewers. Um, but in all actuality, we're going to have Seton being the first one that sees these dungeons for the first time. We're going to do this with Seton and that. And it was, it was, uh, it had to be something that I did in order to just enjoy it. Uh, because I wasn't getting the try on attention at that time. Uh, but whenever I did get the try on attention, um, it was really cool because they were very supportive of what I was doing and I was supportive in playing the game and continuing to make videos about it. Um, however, as time went on, uh, my, I would say fan base, I, I don't really, uh, I'm not really used to calling my, my uh, people that watch my videos fans, but the fan base uh, kind of um, stalled, should I say. Uh, it, it became something where I wasn't growing 200 or more subscribers every week like I was at one time. Uh, all of a sudden it really started to stabilize and that may be uh, a part of the, uh, the game itself. Maybe it's a little bit on the plateau or whatever. And 
it made it to where people wasn't supporting the channel as much. Uh, if you watch like the old videos that I used to get like some criti uh, criticism over, like whenever I did the uh, the cleric sentinel build and all that, you know, such a cool build and all that. But what fired people up the most was that you know at the beginning of the video I could say, hey. This person donated $100, this person donated $50, this person donated $5, or whatever else. And, you know, if they didn't like my videos, uh, they didn't like my personality or something, the fact that people were donating to the channel fired them up even more. And it really brought out the haters. Um, which is fine, you know, at first I started taking uh, the haters kind of personal I, because uh, I was so used to being so supported. Um, it was like everybody was so supportive of Grimm. I, I was even telling people at one time that I think I'm the most liked guy in all of uh, Rift. It, it just is so cool that I had so much support and I never seen any haters. Well, uh, and then, you know, slowly that started to turn in, uh, like, not really too significantly, but once I started making the Tryon videos and started getting some support from them, the people that hated Tryon started hating Grimm, and uh, the donations started going down. I mean, everything started kind of turning around for my channel. Uh, the the amount of subscribers started slowing down the donations pretty much tapered off to almost nothing so whenever you talk about doing YouTube for uh, a full-time gig uh, I was able to do that for a while with you guys support and with try on support and as well as the uh, YouTube revenue everything nothing was like massive but it all added up to where I could do this full-time and um, it, it wasn't like a lucrative uh, income or anything like that, but it was enough to where I could do what I loved. I, I really enjoyed playing Rift and entertaining you guys and providing informational videos and everything else that I could do. And if you look at my old videos, you know, I was very dominant in PvP because I had the time to build up my character as well as refine my skills in the, in the Warfronts. Um, also, you know, I was able to uh, do a lot of editing on my videos. I often said that I would put, you know, sometimes six, seven or more hours into a regular video that would be uh, just shown on my channel that would possibly not get a huge viewership. It was just the love of the game, the love of providing you guys with stuff that I felt like uh, I was being helpful with. So that's what it all came down to was I was doing what I loved and then in result I was getting the support from all fronts to make it to where I can make videos all the time. Well whenever the the trying videos happened and that was supportive and everything but my viewership started to taper off and all that stuff it kind of slowed down quite a bit. Um, so naturally the the income uh, avenues started to uh, close up uh, pretty much I haven't had a donation in months you know uh, the YouTube viewership you know not not just my inactive time but even whenever I was active on uh, YouTube was really slowing down you know I was still the type of person that I could post a riff video and still get a thousand views overnight but is that enough to uh, cause me not to have to go out and get a job you know like like I've always done before I always had jobs before until I started doing YouTube on a on a more frequent basis well no it, it's not it's not enough to sustain that kind of atmosphere especially with the amount of uh, work that I was putting into the videos so you know I was doing a lot of gameplay a lot of editing and that took a lot of time. So naturally, whenever all the avenues of revenue went down, you know, I was making it all right with uh, the uh, the support that I was getting before. But as it all closed up, naturally, I was not making enough money to sustain uh, my life in order to keep doing YouTube videos. And that is the result of, you know, 
not only the the game but also how you know you might get people that just grow tired of watching you talk about the same thing and all that you know the same game and uh the especially game that doesn't have the 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 feverish fan base like a minecraft or even a lot of the mobile games you see a lot of people making mobile videos now mobile game videos and they're really blowing up and stuff like that so i had to you know look at other ways to uh create revenue and uh for me it's working on rental properties and stuff i have a few rental properties that i work on and try to maintain and that eats up a lot of my time also my family life is much more hectic now because uh whereas before whenever i was doing the youtube videos i had a designated person to uh watch the kiddos and stuff like that to where i could work on the videos and have a lot of productive days uh now it is more uh you know having to take care of the kids myself while i'm working and stuff so uh and a big a big reason for that is because i moved towns I'm, i moved uh uh to where it's more convenient for me on some fronts but more i'm at less convenient in other fronts so yeah working on youtube for, uh, videos was actually one of the less convenient fronts that uh the move resulted in so yeah that's basically the answer right there i mean kind of long-winded and kind of going over a lot of stuff that a lot of you people already knew and uh the people messaging me in game and stuff uh kind of heard me say a lot of it whenever they talk to me so every time i log in i get a lot of people message me and say where have you been grim uh so i explained a little bit to them i figured i'd make a video explaining to you guys and i think i'm going to hammer out these last uh, few levels on my character you guys have been max levels since the moment that this expansion came out pretty much the first day the uh, second day or whatever here i am months into it and i am you know what two months three months now that we're uh into this expansion and i i'm still not max level because of the hecticness that uh my life has become um but i mean all around if if the if the support the viewership you know just the things picked up again at some point uh i would be able to resume the the life that i did before but right now it just doesn't sustain yeah that, that's about all of it but right now i'm focusing on leveling up my character i'm hoping to get some good gameplay in here and maybe make a video of uh what i think of the whole uh, questing process and all that uh, because the last video that I did, it was very much a kind of a, a knock on the questing system. People, people seem to think that I'm some paid try on shill that never insults the game or anything. But if I see something that I don't like, I will say it. And uh, but my channel is about positivity. I have never been paid by trying to make any video that you see on my channel so uh yeah and most of the other people that do make uh riff videos uh uh have been paid in order to put them on their channel you know a lot of people have i have never so if you guys ever watch any of my videos and go this guy is just taking the truth because he's getting paid by tron no i'm not i'm not getting paid by tron on my videos on my channel so my opinions are my own on my own channel so uh yeah um but look forward to some videos coming up hopefully uh i plan on uh doing more giveaways and stuff in the future uh hopefully this whole uh creator uh program that they have going on now gets a little bit better it was decent at the very beginning but they've kind of made it to where now uh, they only give us codes for like radar radar corgi pets and stuff but uh we'll make do with what we have maybe i'll start giving away like platinum in the game um if you guys uh are interested in something like that maybe like giveaways of a thousand platinum each maybe uh wrecks here and there maybe we can create our own um our own giveaways but uh 
that would of course kind of require some support from the uh, the viewers as well because I wouldn't be able to put in the gameplay in order to earn that kind of money uh, on a on a frequent basis in order to give Rex all the time. So we'll see how it all pans out. But right now I'm pretty optimistic that uh, I'll be able to make videos for you guys real soon and uh maybe on a more normal basis uh depending on how the viewership is you know how, how the support from the fans are and all that so i know this is kind of a a, a downer type of video because it, it's kind of explaining you know why i'm not productive in this front right now and uh, i'm sure the people that do watch my channel would like me to be more productive in it so yeah that's what it hinges on. I mean, uh, it hinges on the support that I get means the more time I can put into it. And that that doesn't mean that, you know, everybody needs to run out and donate a dollar to Grim. No, that's not, that's not what it's about. If I got the viewership and stuff, that could definitely sustain me to where I can put the time in it. But the cold hard fact is, as much as you guys hate whenever I talk about money at any point in the videos, that is what dri uh, has driven me away from being able to make videos right now. So I will make videos as I can, but I got to sustain the family as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button if you like being informed. I know it's not really a thumbs up type of video because it's kind of bad news. But um, yeah, as usual, my name is Graham and I'll see you next time.